Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about every single product that I've ever purchased from Glossier and I'm going to categorize them into products that I love, products that I hate, and products that I wouldn't recommend but I don't hate them. This is your ultimate Glossier guide to let you guys know what products are worth purchasing and what products you should definitely pass on. I'm just gonna get started into the products that I absolutely love. My favorite launch this year from Glossier is the Glossier, you can't even see it with my background. This is the Glossier Bubble Wrap. It is a lip and eye plumping cream. And for me, I haven't ever purchased an eye cream before because $50 for an eye cream is just not possible and I was like I'm not spending something on that unless it literally makes a huge difference So when I saw that they came out with this on top of the really awesome packaging a lot of eye creams come in a jar versus a pump and I thought the pump was like genius I actually put a pump or maybe even two into my moisturizer and it makes the biggest difference. It makes my skin look so plump and hydrated. I have been loving bomb.coms ever since my first purchase from them, I think was a bomb.com. They have a whole bunch of different flavors from them and scents. And this one actually has a little flecks of glitter and it smells like cake. And this is probably my all time favorite Glossier bomb.com. I'm pretty sure out of all the scents. The birthday bomb.com. I was gonna say coconut is a strong second, but I think I reach for this a little bit more. My next favorite from Glossier is their lip gloss. Now this I feel like is a really underrated product from them. Not a lot of people talk about it, but I am obsessed with this lip gloss. Sometimes I'll just put a little bit of lip liner on and then this gloss and it looks so amazing. It's a clear gloss. It has a little bit of a tinted pink to it, but you can't really see it because it's just on your lips it makes your lips look so juicy it's also really moisturizing which is very rare for a lip gloss it doesn't have that crustiness like that like white residue i don't know what it is but it's disgusting and this does not do that at all i'm obsessed with this gloss okay the next product that i really love from glossier is their solution everything is fading into my background because my background is pink anyway so this product is probably one of my top faves from them. I haven't used it recently because I took a break from exfoliating my face, but it has a pump on the top and it absolutely saved my skin. I used to physically exfoliate my skin probably twice to three times a week, which is too much for my sensitive skin. And then I started using this one to two times a week and it was perfect. It works so well for my skin. And I, this is probably my fifth or sixth bottle. I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. And anyone who ever has acne problems, I always recommend that product to them. Another one of my favorite products is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I love the formula of this and how like, I just love the texture. It feels so nice. It removes my makeup all in one. And a lot of people say that it doesn't remove their makeup, but if you're wearing just a light layer of makeup and not nothing like no eyeliner or anything like that, then this will definitely remove it. And I got the little bottle because I love it for traveling. Okay, now this was another product that I love that actually surprised me a lot. It is their moisturizing moon mask. And I got this at the Glossier um, pop-up in Toronto. And it's actually so hydrating. My boyfriend ended up using this for uh, moisturizer most of the time. But if I want a really really hydrating mask. I will just put a ton of this on my face and it soaks into your skin. You can use it as a, like an overnight mask, which are my favorite types of masks because you don't have to wash them off. Um, or you can do it in a thicker layer and then wash it off in a couple of minutes. Another one of my favorite products is the Glossier Lash Slick. This is my all time favorite mascara because it's super light and super airy on the lashes. It doesn't weigh them down and it keeps a really nice curl. And so I wear this on days that I'm not wearing makeup, on days that I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I will pile a couple of layers on, but this is my all time favorite mascara. Another product that I've repurchased probably 10 times already is the Glossier Boy Brow in Brown. And my brows just look so good with this because it makes them look fuller, it makes them look tamed. I love the brown because it also tints them really nicely and fills them in. Definitely recommend getting a boy brow. And my last favorite is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm, and especially in Storm, because I have Beam and Puff, but I love this one the most, and I will only use the other two if I'm mixing it with Storm, 
So I highly recommend getting this and all you guys on Instagram actually suggested Storm. I did a poll of all of them and Storm won. So really love this product. If you guys want a more in-depth video on the Glossier Cloud Paint, then I will link the video to that up here. Now I'm going to get into the Glossier Disappointments, which I'm sure a lot of you guys, this is why you're watching this video. I always talk really highly of Glossier, I'm not going to lie. I talk mostly about their products that I really, really love, but there are a lot that I don't love, so I'm going to be talking about those right now. Starting with the Glossier Bomb.com in Mango. The formula in the Bomb.coms changes based on the scent. And I've noticed that because I have so many scents. The mango is by far my least favorite because it is not thick at all. It's not the classic thick consistency. It's a lot more runny and the scent is too strong for me, which is so sad. I wanted to love it. Another one of my disappointments was the Wouter. It turns out that this color is just way too dark for me and I tried to wear it this summer and I didn't even get tan enough to wear it. It's in the shade light, but it's still not light enough for me. They did come out with a bunch more shades, but I figured I already have this one, so I'm not gonna buy it in another color because it's just a waste. But when I bought it, they only had three colors and so I was like, oh, I'm light, for sure I'm light and it wasn't light enough. <laughs> so that was a real bummer and I never use it. So I'm really disappointed in that. Another disappointment was the Glossier U Solid. Now, whenever I got a package, I would always request getting the Glossier U perfume sample. Um, so I have like a little bottle of it and love it. So then I was like, okay, if they, they came out with this solid version of the perfume and I was like, it's a cheaper version, it's more, like they basically sold me on it. They were like, it's cheaper than the perfume, it's easier to apply than the perfume, you can travel with it, put it in your purse. I was like, sold, that's perfect. But it never lasts on me. It's basically a balm that you like rub and then apply in the places you would perf put perfume. But I just, it's not the same. It doesn't hold a scent at all. I don't know, it's just, it's not as good. If you love the scent of the Glossier U, do not cheap out and get the solid, get the real one because the real one's so much better. The next product that I was disappointed in and I did a whole video of this product was their Body Hero products. So they have a body wash and they also have a moisturizer. This is not the original bottle. I ended up finishing it because it smelled like so bad. I, it was all about the scent, so you guys can watch that video if you want. But I love the packaging in the bottle, so I just reuse the bottle for my other body washes. Definitely not a fan of this. Okay, I have other ones that I have to read off my phone because I tossed them or gave them away. Um, the Priming Moisturizer was another one that I did not like. It had an ingredient in the moisturizer that fought acne, and so you couldn't actually go in the sun with it because it would irritate your skin. It's such a light moisturizer, it was like a day moisturizer. At least that's what they marketed it as. To me, that was like pointless. I was like, I'm not gonna use this if it's gonna irritate my skin if I go in the sun. Like, hello. <laughs> so that was annoying. The Milky Oil was one of their newer products and I hated it. It was such a disaster when I used it and I don't think I ever did a video. I think I just gave it away. But I just didn't like the consistency. It made my eyes so oily when I used it. I just not a fan really not a fan the soothing face mist so this was their like rose water spray and originally when i bought this i was expecting like pure rose water like hello um but it smelled like chemicals it was not rose water and it just smelled like artificial rose so it did nothing for my skin it smelled really fake and so yeah i think i gave it away or something or tossed it, I can't remember. That finishes off all of the products that I was disappointed in from Glossier. And then now we will go into the products that I don't love, but I also don't hate them. So the first product that I don't love, but I don't hate is the Glossier Stretch Concealer in G11. So I actually got this one, I don't know. I got the pot concealer because I love my RMS pot concealer so much. And so I was like, oh, the Glossier one would be good. I would not repurchase this because I never reach for it. I think it's too dewy for me and I just don't like it. I love my RMS one so, so much more. And yeah, I just never touched this one, which is kind of sad. 
So the next product is a product that I mentioned briefly earlier. This is the Glossier U Perfume. Like I said, I love getting these samples in my in my uh, orders and stuff like that, but have I bought the full bottle? No. And even though I love this scent, I would not spend my own money on buying the full size bottle, so I'm not going to recommend you do it either because even though I love this scent, like I still haven't even finished this little bottle. Um, I just find it a little bit too strong to have for an everyday perfume, so I would never really grab it unless it was like maybe for date night. So if I'm not going to use my money on it, I'm not going to recommend it to you guys. So yeah, there you go. That is the very last product of this video. I went through every single one of my products that I have tried from Glossier and I categorized them into ones that I love, ones that I hate, and ones that I don't love but don't hate. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, if you guys have any questions uh, more in depth, like this was a really quick video. I basically reviewed like all of these products in like two minutes. So if you guys want more in depth on like why I didn't like it or like what I loved about it, then let me know in the comments and I'll kind of give you more information. But I wanted to get through all of these products for you guys in one video so that you guys could make your decisions and figure out what you want to get and what you don't want to get. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>